it's, it's weird. I feel like I just got here and I just uh, put this jersey on for the first time. I feel like it happened two weeks ago. So, I mean, it feels weird, but uh, I'm ready for it. I think the guys that have been here before me, uh, the guys that I looked up to, prepared me for this moment. So. First of all, how you doing? Great, great. <laughs> I know you had kind of a, an interesting off, off season with, with recovery. Yeah. So, how is a healthy Cam Johnson with the healthy hip different from the guy we saw last year? Um, I'm still figuring that out myself. Uh, so I'm still adjusting to everything. I'm still adjusting to how my body feels on a day-to-day -day basis. Seeing kind of getting a new routine because I had a routine last year um, that I kind of got used to. Um, but I feel great right now, and I feel like I'm ready to improve. You know, and, and just about every area of the game. Your name pops up as one of the guys that's really made dramatic improvement. Yeah. What areas have you improved? Uh, with the ball in my hands, definitely. I've uh, become a little more aggressive this year in, in attacking the cup and using my shot as a way to get to the rim rather than just relying on it uh, as like a first option and then creating for my teammates, you know, setting people up, dumping to the post players or, you know, driving and kicking to my teammates. I think uh, I have a more well-rounded game this year and that's something I've worked on a lot over the summer. How much weight did you gain the offseason? Uh, I think I think 15 pounds. 15 pounds. It sort of looks like you put on some. How has that helped you that you've noticed uh, so far? It's helped a lot with position scoring and on defense also. What about playing through contact? I know that that was something we talked a couple times about last season. Yeah. The upper body strength, really, to get the shot off and at least get the line or get a plus one every once in a while. Yeah, so it's helped a lot because uh, I struggled at times finishing up from the basket. I think uh, this year I'll take another step towards being better with that. I know he, I missed the, your answer. I know he asked you, what are you, what are you doing better? What other couple of areas have you specifically improved on? I believe I'm shooting the ball better and rebounding the ball better. So that's what I've been, that's what I've tried. I can't really work on rebounding the ball, but I worked on, I worked on my shot a lot this year. Roy said that the bigs up front, he really would like one guy to kind of run away and sort of take ownership. <laughs> of at least being the front guy, uh, the bigs up front. What do you have to do to be that guy? Uh, do what he says. That's what he always says. So. <laughs> as long as I do what he says, I, mean, I think I'll be fine. Isn't that the answer everybody gets here? Really? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what you got to do, though. You and, have to just do what he says. And what is he telling you? Uh, run, play hard, um, post up hard, and just give it your all. Last March, remember, I told you, we were, the day before the Texas A&M game, we had a lot of time in the locker room with you guys, and I was doing getting some stuff for an off-season story on you. And I told you about how Roy often says, you guys have not seen, talking to us, the media, the fans, have not seen the real seventh woods. And I asked you about that, and you said that we would see that guy. There's a great player there. In the last five months, six months since we had that conversation, <laughs> has that player come out? Is that player blossoming now? Oh, uh, Definitely. I feel like this whole complete summer I've been at 100% healthy. That definitely played a big role for me. Uh, summer pickup games, there was days when I feel like I was the best player on the court with the pros here. So I feel like that transformation has finally happened. I feel like my injury-free status has been the biggest part to contribute to that. So when you crashed to the floor in the Bahamas, what went through your mind right away? Like, good gracious. Uh, after it happened like that, day when everything that settled down I was hurt I didn't play the next game yeah. because of that so um the dunk was reassuring but getting back to a point where I was somewhat injured was like it's not worth it at all but um, as far as right now I, that injury is gone it's completely healthy right now um <laughs> you know it's, it's a lot man I I can't pinpoint one thing honestly it's just I I'm really excited about going out there and going to war. Uh, you know, I could say I'm excited about the freshman, I'm excited about sophomore bigs, but I'm just excited about everybody because I've seen all summer the kind of work that everybody's put in and uh, the amount of hours that we've been in the gym together. And, um, you know, you, I've gotten to the point where I'm, I'm, you get to the point where you're ready to go up against somebody else and I've, I've definitely passed that point. So I'm just ready to get out there and go to war with with uh, my brothers, with the teammates, instead of going against them every day. What's the mission? Uh, a national championship. Um, it doesn't change um, whether we won it 
last year or, or two years ago, it, it just doesn't change. We want to put another man up here, and that's, that's the ultimate goal um, every year we step on this court for practice.